So, Salafism, modern Salafism is an ideology that came out of, uh, as, as a reaction to the crisis that uh, Muslims were facing starting in the 18th century, uh, more significantly in the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, the crisis of being uh, ruled or starting to be ruled by European powers uh, and uh, that kind of crisis generated what I consider to be three forms of reactions. Obviously, I'm trying to simplify. Uh, each one is very complicated, but uh, at least for our uh, discussion, there is a reaction of Muslims who blamed uh, Islam for the position of the Muslims. And largely out of this, you have secular Muslims or Muslims who are atheists. It's very uh, ironic to say that term, but there are a lot in the Muslim world uh, people who are either secularist, hardcore secularist, or non-believers. Uh, you have another group, uh, which we call the Salafists, and that group did not blame Islam, but they blamed the Muslims for not being good Muslims, for not following properly Islam. And what they had in mind was a, an original Islam uh, that existed at the time of the Prophet Muhammad that needed to be uh, put back in practice, and that the, Islam, the Muslims became weak and therefore subject to colonization because they haven't been following this great Islam. This great Islam allowed the Muslims to conquer the world. Once they stopped following it, they became the prey. Uh, and between those two groups, you have a third group that is largely what we call the moderates. And that blame both. That is, there is something in Islam that needs reform and there is something in the Muslims that need reform. So Salafism is this group that felt the problem is in the Muslims. And the problem can be solved if the Muslims were to go back to the original Islam and put it back in practice. Uh, and because they blame the Muslims, often they have an issue with the Muslims. And often they justify violence against the Muslims because uh, at stake is whether Islam, which in their opinion is predestined to be the religion that should rule the world, uh, whether it has that capacity to remain relevant or it become, it, it's defeated by God's enemies. And therefore, the first objective is to make sure that the Muslims rally around this ideology. That's why often when we look at militant Salafism, their main vengeance and their main terrorism is against fellow Muslims. Uh, very little of their violence actually is against non-Muslims. Most of the violence is against uh, fellow Muslims. And that's precisely preconditioned on their belief that they have to force the Muslims in order to come back to the fold of proper Islam. Very much like when the Prophet Muhammad was fighting his enemies. He didn't, he started by preaching and when he realized that this didn't work, he started fighting them. So what they are doing is replaying that kind of chapter that the Prophet Muhammad had to do is you have to force your community in order to uh, adhere to the teachings of this original Islam.